Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to format a simple HTTP POST request with an AJS object to query Google Gemini. This tutorial aims to demonstrate the flexibility of our JavaScript object and Wintex request JS module. However, we will also highlight the abundance of examples and sample code available to help you start using the JS object. To begin, we'll need to obtain an API key for Gemini. To get an API key, navigate to aistudio.google.com slash app slash API key and follow the prompts to create an API key. At the moment, Google has a free tier for Gemini that we'll use within this tutorial. Now that we have our API key, let's open EasyBuilder Pro and create an application that will allow us to query Gemini. During this demonstration, I'm going to create a project for a CMT3072XH, but you can use any X-Series HMI except the CMT1106X. To begin, we'll need to download and add Wintex Request JS module. To do this, select the Object tab and click JS Object within the JS Related drop-down list. Within the JS Object, select the Source Code tab and click the JS Object SDK hyperlink. On the following page, select Web Request and click the download link next to request 0.0.3.js. Now, select JS resource within the JS related drop down list. And, when prompted, select add file and add the JS module called request 0.0.3. To use methods within this module, select the Copy Path button and create a new JS object. Within the source code of our JS object, we'll need to require this module by declaring a constant that we'll call request. To do this, type CONST request equals require and in parentheses paste the path name and closed by apostrophes. Let's create another constant called API key and set it equal to the API key that we created earlier. To post a query, we'll need to define the content of our message in JSON format. A sample structure of a JSON message can be found on Google's Get an API Key page. We can copy this sample structure and assign this to a variable. I'll call mine JSON Data. To include this data within our request, we'll need to convert this message to a JSON string. We can use the stringify method of the JSON namespace to do this. For information related to the JSON namespace, please see Mozilla's MDN developer documentation. To post this query, we can copy the request.post sample code from Wintex SOAP client demo on the JS Object SDK web page. And paste this within our JS Object. However, we will need to modify this a bit to fit our use case. Let's start by removing the URL used in this sample code. We'll replace this URL with the URL shown on Google's Get an API Key page. And be sure to enclose this URL using the backtick character. 
not an apostrophe. Remove XML data and replace it with request data. And set the content type equal to the content type shown on Google's Get an API Key page. Now, simply remove everything within the else statement and replace it with console.log and in quotations, body, comma, body, to read the message returned by Gemini. And with that finished, let's revise our query and run a simulation to read Gemini's response. Just for fun, I've also created a separate demo project that will allow you to type a question, parse Gemini's response, and display the result without using the diagnoser. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our channel to check out the latest technical tutorials. Feel free to check out our forum as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.